Welcome. In this video and through our great channel of Scopus, we will walk through how to find the Scopus quartile ranking of a journal using Scopus. Let us take an example which it is the Journal of Artificial Intelligence Research. Go to Scopus. Open your browser and go to scopus.com. To search for the journal, we need to go directly to the Sources tab. Click on the Sources tab. In the search bar, type Artificial Intelligence Research. Press Enter or click Search. From the search results, find the journal and click on its title to open the details page. Get the ISSN. Once you're on the journal's detail page, look for its ISSN number. We will copy the ISSN since we will need it for the next step. This will open the Scopus Sources page where you can search for journals using various filters. Search by ISSN. Paste the copied ISSN into the search bar. Press Enter, and the journal should appear in a single line result. Understand the percentile and quartile. You'll see a percentile value next to the journal. For example, our journal shows a percentile of 81%. Finally identify the quartile. On the left-hand side, under the Quartile filter, try selecting the checkboxes for Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 one by one. If the journal remains visible when Q1 is selected but disappears when any other quartile is selected, then it's confirmed as a Q1 journal. How Scopus defines quartiles by percentile. Scopus assigns quartiles based on percentile ranges. Q1, 75% to 100%. Q2, 50% to 74%. Q3, 25% to 49%. Q4, 0% to 24%. So, since our journal has a percentile of 81%, it clearly falls in Q1. You've now learned how to identify the quartile of any journal in Scopus accurately and up-to-date using the ISSN-based search and percentile filtering method. If you found this helpful please hit the subscribe and stay tuned for more informative videos through our channel.